Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. I will show you how to install and configure Splunk Universal for order for Windows. Let's go to Splunk.com, login, then go to Free Splunk, go down, you will find here Splunk Universal for order, download now. Choose the distribution or the installation package that you want for Windows. I will prefer to download the latest one. If you need a Linux, I will show you in another video how to configure the Linux universal for order for Windows. I will press download now. Uh, to get the uh, uh, to get the event logs or the security logs or the application logs from Windows, you need another thing from Splunk. You need to go to splunkbase.com or splunkbase.splunk.com and go here and search for Windows. Then you need the add-on. The add-on for Windows, it's the dictionary that tells Splunk how to deal with the logs that come from a Windows machine. So you need Splunk add-on for Microsoft Windows. Press this one. And you will find here an overview and details. If you need to go to the documentation from here and download the add-on. Now, after downloading the Splunk Universal for Order package and the add-on for that, make sure to Run your Splunk instant. My session is expired. Okay, go to search and reports. Yes, great. My instant of Splunk is working correctly. I go here to manage apps. If you have internet, you can press install or browse more apps. If you don't have internet, we already downloaded the add-on and we can install it from file. Just go and choose the file. Here is the file. I prefer to check the upgrade app, upload in case that you already have an add-on. It will require a restart, restart now. Okay. Until it restarts, I will go to my Windows machine. I will copy the two packages also here, the Splunk Universal for order and the add-on. First, let's start by extracting everything. There is two ways to deploy the add-on on the Windows machine. Uh, the add-on will, uh, by deploying the add-on on the Windows machine here, we will help Splunk to select what file should it uh, send to the uh, to the server, and it will uh, help it by parsing the logs. So first, I will install the Universal for Order. Oh, I download the. I don't need the zip file, I need the MSI, sorry. So I will re-download the image. Great, I downloaded the MSI version. Double click to install the Splunk Universal Folder. We need two uh, things to be configured in uh, the installation. We need the uh, Splunk Instant IP address. And if we are managing to uh, manage this from the server. Also, we need the IB. Okay, check the box here to accept the license. It's on premise. Next, customize. Next, next, local. I uh, will not check anything from here. Next. Next, I 
type uh, username and password. This is a new username and password, so choose anything you want. You will use them on the same machine here. Here's the deployment server. I will show you what we mean by deploy deployment server right now. So I will configure it. The board is 8089. And here's the indexer. It's the same for me because I'm using one instant and the board 397. Next and install. We need to make sure that Splunk uh, instant is receiving the files by going to settings, data inputs, not that input, sorry. Settings, forwarding and receiving, configure receiving, and the port 397 must be enabled. New receiving port, and save. Okay, great. It's configured. Go back here and wait until the universal forwarder installation finish. Great, my friends, the installation finished successfully. Click finish. First, I will go to Splunk add-on. What's that? I will extract it again. Yes, here I want it. Yes, great. Let's go first to program files. We'll find this blank reverse folder here. If you go to etc, you will find system and you will find local. In the local, you will find an outputs file. The output file will contain the indexer IB address as you can see here and we have the deployment client configuration it will contain the deployment IB address great so now I will go to apps in the apps you will not find anything if I go to this one and copy the app, look at again, you need to extract the add-on, extract it again, then go to Splunk TA Windows, copy it, and put it here. You need to go in to the default. We need the input file, copy. It's preferred not to... Uh, Edit or manipulate any file from the default file here. So we'll copy it, create a new file here in the etc and name it uh, local. Okay. So we'll go to the local, paste the file, and now open with the node bad. Okay, not good. Let's try th something else. The word bad. Where is it? Go with the word bad. Great job. Now. Here is all the configuration, I will not explain it right now. You can go ahead to the documentation and read all these inf about information about these configuration. I will show you three things only, the application, security, and system. If you go to your Windows Event Viewer, you will find these by default application, security, and system events or logs. 
here they are application security and system these are the default one disable equals zero it means it's disabled so we'll change it to zero zero and zero this means that i need to take all the configuration or the events sorry and logs it's necessary to restart the service after doing that I prefer to make another thing took a lot of time that's not good I like to change this to false I don't want it as XML Save the file, start the service again. After starting the service, let's go to search and input and reporting. In the data summary, we will check if we have any any uh, logs or events i think this this is one this is the one that we configured now let's check the name yes it is it's correct Let's check. Let's check the source type of the Windows events. Guys, our mission is completed for today. I will show you again download Splunk Universal for order. Then the MSI package, of course. I downloaded the MSI. Then download the Windows add-on for Microsoft Windows. Install the add-on on Splunk. by installing app from file choose the file and upload then go to your windows machine install the universal for order as i show you here then extract the add-on twice here's the second or first time and here's the second time you need to find Splunk underscore TA underscore Windows copy this file to the following directory it will be to program files Splunk universal for order etc and apps you need to copy it here then go inside the app go to default copy the input file and paste it in a new folder name it local then edit the file with wordpad we have three events we need to get them in our splunk instant so the application the security the system here the disable one equals it's disabled if it's zero it's not disabled so i will change it to zero zero and zero and i prefer to 
enable the render XML equal false, not enable it, disable it by configuring the value to false in the three sections. Done. Go to services. Restart the service. And you will find all the logs in search and reporting. Here is the source, but the source type, all of them is Windows Event Log. You will find them here. It will starting, it will start extracting the system fields. I prefer to do these steps and thank you for watching this video. Again, I will show you the Linux in another video. Thank you everyone.